intro to Barthes. Now I'm welcoming to the studio Michael Svart and Jan Schaberg from Barthes. Hi. Cool, thanks for joining us uh, because some people made so only a few people in Amsterdam may not have been to Barsis. Uh, so explain a bit about why it's so special. Yeah, why it's so special? I mean, um, for us, it was, especially in the beginning, it was a bit of a, uh, a gamble as well. We were going to do something that we like. We worked in, uh, in different bars and restaurants all over town uh, for years. And at some point, we thought we can do this too. So we just started um, yeah, on the Vijzelstraat and people seem to like it. Totally. So, yeah, exactly. It just kind of like rocketed off. Um, but you've got a nice ethos. You can bring your own food and things uh, like that. Uh, was that a really kind of strong kind of uh, thing that you definitely wanted? You mean in the beginning or yeah, uh, yeah. now again? Well, uh, it was partly, partly practical. Uh, there because we didn't have uh, the kitchen, the facilities, uh -huh. and we did want to have some kind of facilities for food. So we decided to do the, the bring your own, and that uh, yeah, it was a hit. People really enjoyed it, and the uh, it's probably the food, but also the vibe that comes with it. People feel at home. Yeah. And yeah, more than in a restaurant or okay, eight cafe. Um, it's more open to so people are more prone to talk to each other talk to the people are working like uh it's more open atmosphere oh, i think so that works interesting yeah. yeah so you didn't know it would have that effect no. um because yeah it was all that like sharing i remember um a friend of ours did a big soup or something and be serving that out and it's just yeah then you share with people who are there that you yeah. may not know exactly I and mean, yeah. you make it for yourself or your friends and you make a bit more than someone is sitting next to you who is hungry why not <laughs> and was it true then if you brought your own food that you'd give plates and uh, knives and forks and let people use the microwave and stuff? Yeah, it's exactly that. We have the we don't have the facilities to make the food, but we did have the facilities to to use. You know, like exactly like you say, microwave, cutlery, dishwasher. We have so uh, yeah, nothing to worry about. Yeah, and so you were set up for a whole year and a half at the Weisselstraat. Uh, and then you've had a move to uh, Tollhouse Strat. Tollstrat. 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 Yeah. Okay, Tollstrat right. 182. Yeah. yeah, that's it. A very different area because uh, Weisselstrat is on that main road going through town. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hotels and other things going on, lots of nightlife. Tollstrat's a little bit more residential. How's that change? Yeah, it's, um, well, we may like this place because it's very convenient for people coming from both West and East Amsterdam. So yeah, our crowd comes on bikes and for most of the people it's within 15 to 20 minutes range. So that's really, yeah, really a great location for us. And besides that, the building that we're in now is also kind of a special building. It's it kind of stands out in the street, um, just like the last location was also kind of a strange location for buses to be in, I think. It's mainly an office building. Now the one we're in is uh, used to be um, a beard house, like a community center kind of. So another kind of special place that would fit our special character, let's put it this way. Yeah, and it's both on the corner of a mm. road, so that's always good to have a corner mm. position. Yeah. Um, sunny, sunny terrace. Yeah, sunny terrace, mm. we all need that. Um, and the one thing about the move is you've now got way more space. We do, yeah. yeah. What are you going to do with all that? <laughs> well, we have loads of plans, actually. Um, just now I got a phone call from someone who would like to do... Um, couple of film screenings. Um, I think it's a documentary thing. So there's loads of ideas for pop-up dinners, um, other catered events. Uh, we have DJ nights. So basically anything that we feel is interesting and that should have a place in Amsterdam but doesn't have one yet, we try to facilitate. Yeah. And you didn't do film screenings at the last place? I no, we didn't have the space for it. Eh? Mm. Yeah. Now, now we have this uh, uh, extra room we can use for programming and we that we can put a beamer there and you can put people in there. So it's more in the in the sense of why not, mm. you know? If there's people with a good idea and we um, yeah, we can figure it out with the, with the people from the building we're in that we can do it, then we can do it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. and do you have a kitchen now or you still got your bring your own food kind of policy? Yeah, still the bring your own food. So we okay. did upgrade a bit. We've got six oven microwaves now. And, Six uh, microwaves. Yeah, yeah. So also loads of plates, loads of cookery. Um, yeah, we just we do have everything you need, but not a real kitchen facility. No. 
No. Uh -huh. no. So we are going to work with um, a caterer, who's a friend of ours also, to sell his products. So we won't prepare them ourselves, mm -hmm. but we'll buy them ready-made from him and then sell those on to, uh, to our guests. So we will keep the bring your own food concept though, but ah. we're going to kind of supplement it by also offering mm -hmm. some things ourselves. Okay, good yeah, one. Good food, a bit more healthy than microwave uh, and pizza. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, yeah, just for the people as well who don't feel like going to the supermarket to get some, just sit down, we have food as well. Mm -hmm. And if you do want to bring your own, then you can bring your own. Nice one. Yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, you had this uh, kind of wooden tree construction at the old yes. place. Have you still got that? Yes. Oh, brilliant. Mm -hmm. We have four now. Four? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <laughs> Who makes those? Uh, friends. Oh, we okay. do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, we had the, the first one was um, was made out of all the scrap wood, the scrap wood from the bar and from the from the building, uh -huh. and the, the construction we were doing there. Um, the, the idea was we need a centerpiece for the bar, something to look at when you come in. Um, and after a while we noticed that people actually started calling bases the, the tree bar. Oh. So when we moved, we couldn't take it because there were a thousand screws in there. <laughs> but when we moved, we thought that yeah, we have to do something with it, you know? Yeah. So that's what people, when they know the place, they come in, feel it's not the same. And it's a new place, new... Um, yeah, the construction wise a bit different, but we still have the trees, we still have this and that, same vibe. Uh huh. So yeah. that's your alter ego, the tree bar. Um, yeah. So tell us a little bit about the events you've got coming up. You had a huge opening party. Did, I don't know yeah. how you can better that. How many people went to that? I'm not so sure. I'd say <laughs> five hundred, maybe. Yeah, something like this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and um, yeah, but what have you got coming up? You've got some things up this weekend, and then you've got mm -hmm. a record label launch party thing as well. Exactly, yeah. yeah. This this Friday we have a uh, Carry On. It's a bunch of guys. Um, I think they're all from the UK, actually, yeah. but they're based here. Uh -huh. And basically they're all about, you know, good-loving fun. Uh, they do Deep House, and uh, yeah, they're pretty eclectic. It goes all over. Um, so that's just mainly fun and games. But the 20th, we have a label night of Groove College. That's um, a label run by a couple of Finnish boys, but they're based in Amsterdam and they have an LP release um, coming up. And to, su to celebrate that, they're going to do a uh, yeah, full night at Basis, basically. So it will also be a chance to see live how people make music that we all know is made with a computer, but we're not so sure how it's actually done. Okay. So you can see the process of making digital beats, basically. Oh, nice. Everyone listens. Showcase, yeah. yeah, everyone listens to this kind of house and trap and bass music, but we don't really know how it's made. So this will be a chance to, uh, yeah. Oh, the mystery unveiled. And uh, exactly. what's the name of the record label again? Groove College. Groove College. And that's the 20th of June. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, of course, with all these events, if people want to check out when and what's going on, uh, your website, let me think, it's basisamsterdam.nl. I think we're going to put know. it up on exactly. screen. Uh, basisamsterdam.nl. Mm -hmm. um, oh, and just one last thing we should uh, talk about the video that we showed before you came on, uh, Piss and Laugh TV. Yeah. Uh, is he your resident DJ as well? He's a resident uh, VJ, but also our designer. So he does all the graphic design for our website and our, our communication, basically. Yeah. And he comes up with great ideas like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The little bicycle trip from your old yeah, exactly. venue to your new venue. Yeah. Yeah. So he's a good friend and good uh, person to work with as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it seems like you've got a good team behind you. Um, True, we do. Thanks for joining yeah. us and telling us a bit more about Barsis. Um, yeah, and we'll keep an eye on what you're doing. Michiel and Jan, thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Thanks you're for welcome, having us. Guys.